Hey everyone, so I figured I'll create a quick video sharing my coronavirus story with you guys. So by way of background, just to let you know that for many years now, uh, when I travel typically by airplane, I am the kind of person that takes along not one, but multiple Ziploc baggies with Clorox wipes on the airplane. And when I get to my seat, I am the geek who totally wipes down the armrests, the tray table, like everything I can find. And when I finally get to my hotel, I take more of those Clorox wipes and I wipe down the door handles and the light switches and the remote control and everything. Uh, because um, I won't say that I'm a germaphobe whatsoever, but for many years, I had a tendency of... Uh, if I would be in the same room as anyone who was coughing, it took a couple of days later and I had whatever it is that that person had. Uh, and so this is something that I just built into my life to be very cognizant of germs, uh, not at the Howie Mandel level of being a germaphobe whatsoever, but uh, Purell and washing hands and being uh, super sensitive to these things is very top of mind for me. So when everything about coronavirus uh, first came out, actually when it first came out in the New York area, um, it came out in New Rochelle, and that uh, had a direct connection to my household. Uh, two members of my household had a very strong connection to the New Rochelle community, and we assumed that they were exposed, so we assumed that our household was exposed. So we took everything about social distancing and self-quarantining very seriously, probably earlier than most other people in the New York area. Um, so we are not the kind of people who just said, you know, we're going to be very cavalier about all this. Anyway, needless to say, uh, out of the six members of my household, two of them, uh, are positive with coronavirus and, uh, the rest of us all have symptoms, myself included. And essentially the doctors pretty much said, believe it or not, uh, well, since you're living with two other people, not to me, but, uh, to my other family members, since, uh, you already have two members of the household that are positive for coronavirus, just assume you have it because you have the exact same symptoms. And in the end, the treatment is exactly the same, which is just rest and take time and all is needed and drink lots of fluids and eat healthy. Uh, and that's about it. So I've had symptoms now, uh, since today is... Thursday, April the 2nd. I've had symptoms now since uh, Saturday. And basically my symptoms are uh, complete fatigue and body aches and coughing. Actually, before I had any of those symptoms, I had headaches uh, for probably two weeks consistently. I had these horrible, horrible headaches, no other symptoms. Also by way of background, my family has been quarantined a couple of weeks now. Uh, three weeks, I completely lost track. Uh, so we haven't been going out to do anything. I leave the house to walk the dog. And when I walk the dog, there is rarely another human being outside anywhere. So um, my point of making this video is basically to sort of drive home for those of you who are not in the New York area and think that the media is blowing things out of proportion. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that the media is not blowing things out of proportion and it's very real and you can be incredibly careful. You have to be incredibly careful and it doesn't matter how careful you are. Chances are that you you interacted with someone who was exposed and chances are you can get exposed anyway but it's at least for me and for everyone in my household at least we have the peace of mind knowing that because we restricted our movement our social movement with other people at the very least that the chances of us having infected other people has been minimized dramatically and by the way it's not easy being quarantined for so long uh it's a little nerve-wracking to say the least and uh, some of you might have noticed that I also, one of the ways that I uh, responded to this entire situation is uh, by creating these virtual Salesforce meetups uh, several times a week and uh, just talking about all sorts of different Salesforce related topics open to anyone. And honestly, I've personally found them to be, in, aside from being incredibly helpful for, for the other people, for the attendees. Um, they've been incredibly rewarding for me to facilitate them and to, to lead these discussions and very often it's the highlight of my day, actually. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so now that I'm uh, really not feeling well at all, I'm basically popping Tylenol multiple times a day. Um, 
body aches, like I mentioned before, and when I say body aches, everything from my fingers to my toes, every joint, every bone hurts. Uh, when I walk the dog, when I walk the dog now, and I'm not even taking the dog far, when I'm walking outside, the neighbors probably look at me like I'm a 90 year old who looks like he's on his deathbed because it's more the dog walking me than me walking the dog. I'm walking incredibly slowly, like every step is uh, very meticulous and very slow. It's it's like nothing I've ever really experienced before. Um, it's it's uncomfortable, uh, but at the same time, honestly, I I'm not looking for anyone to feel bad for me. Uh, I appreciate any uh, well wishes, etc. But honestly, I'm very grateful that everyone in my household, as as much as we have symptoms and we're groaning about whatever annoyances it is. Um, where none of us need hospitalization, none of us need a ventilator. There are so many other people that are in such a worse situation than we are. So I'm incredibly grateful for what we have. Um, and honestly, right even before turning on this camera, I discovered so the rest of my family has this other symptom that you may or may not have heard of, uh, where you lose the sense of taste or smell. And my other family members uh, lost their sense of taste or smell. I was the only one who uh, was still able to taste and smell things. So anytime there's like ice cream or cake or anything, I'm like, I'm the only one who's going to enjoy it. So give it to me. Uh, well, a couple of minutes before turning on this video, I discovered that I lost my sense of taste or smell. It's very weird eating an apple and it just tastes like, I don't know, celery, a cucumber. It just tastes like nothing really uh, and at the same time as you can even see by my demeanor uh we're all taking it in stride and with my family we're trying to make the best of it and, and try to enjoy the quality time and we're having fun and we're laughing while at the same time yes we're we're uncomfortable uh anywhere from minorly uncomfortable to majorly uncomfortable uh and it comes and goes a different points throughout the day. Anyway, uh, as it relates to the um, the virtual Salesforce meetups that I've been doing, I am going to be putting them on hold for approximately two weeks. Uh, the assumption is that it takes about two weeks to recover from this. So I'm just going to sort of put myself into some level of hibernation uh, for about two weeks. Uh, let's see if I've been successful with that, but I'm definitely going to try because I'm taking this seriously. And uh, I encourage you to please take this seriously as well. Uh, and you're, for those of you who are in other geographic areas uh, throughout the world where it's not nearly as hard hit as New York, it's coming. Uh, the virus really doesn't care about boundaries of countries or states uh, or age or anything else. Uh, we're getting notices, it feels like several times a day, of people who are passing away for, uh, within our community. And uh, it, it's heartbreaking. It's really, really hard. So anyway, please take care of yourselves. Please take it seriously. And with that, I wish you the best. See you later. Bye.